and a very warm welcome to all of you. Here is day two coverage of the Commonwealth Games on News 9 Sports and two medals for India on day two in weightlifting. It started with Sanket Sagar who won uh, uh, silver in the 55 kilogram category. And then the news that we're getting now is P. Guru Raja has won a bronze in the 61 kilogram category. So two medals for India. India have opened up the medals tally with two medals in weightlifting. Sanket Sargar bagging a silver for India. At one point it looked like he would win the gold but an injury in the second attempt in his clean and jerk uh, round is uh, the reason why he had to settle for a silver. And Guru Raj Pajari, of course, he has won a bronze. He'd won a silver in Gold Coast in, uh, in 2018. So two medals for India and can expect more in weightlifting because this is one of those sports where India have done well traditionally in the Commonwealth Games. I'm joined by um, an esteemed panel here. Uh, and uh, we'll get to them. We'll discuss what this means now. And uh, I'm sure, you know, the, the environment tonight at the village would be celebratory because of those two medals. But incredible achievement by these two weightlifters. Pradeep Gandhi joins us, Asian Games medalist, former uh, national champion, doubles champion in badminton. Also joining me is somebody who's giving back to the game. She's a, she was, she's uh, the former in Indian hockey captain, but more than that, right now, she is a coach, runs a very successful coaching academy in Sonipat. In fact, two of her wards are participating in the Commonwealth Games. They are part of the women's hockey team. Also joining me is Sandeep Mishra, sports editor, someone who's been following hockey for donkey's years. Also joining me is Amit Kamath, who is getting us all the latest from Birmingham. up. He's been, uh, he's been following all the athletes. He's been following the action from there. Let me begin then first with Amit, because these are, this is big. We knew that weightlifting was going to get us medals, Amit, but just the way it is happening, great achievement for Sanket as well. And I was reading this story and why it becomes more relevant is that Sanket, in fact, in one of the articles that I read, was talking about how he was watching P. Guru Raja in uh, Commonwealth Games in Gold Coast competing and winning a silver. That's when he said, you know, I want to go and do this. And today we have him, uh, we have him win the silver. Incredible achievement for him comes from Sangli. What can you tell us? And, uh, you know, how was he after the injury? I'm sure a bit disappointed because he was going for the gold. Absolutely. Maya, he was actually uh, really disappointed. He wasn't just a little bit disappointed uh, to take home a silver because he told us after the medal that he wanted to go for broke and wanted to go for gold, which is why we saw him, uh, you know, come out and attempt the third clean and jerk attempt also. Uh, that was despite him, uh, you know, injuring his right arm. Uh, he said he heard a pop while lifting the second uh, lift and uh, when he dropped the weight. So even after that, when you go for another medal, uh, another lift, that just tells you that he wanted the gold really desperately. He said that for the last four years, a gold medal is all that he had been training for. Yeah, it was disappointing, but uh, you know, also because his personal best, he, I think he chatted the national record as well as the Commonwealth Championship record you know, 258, I think, or 256 is what uh, he had lifted. That was his uh, best. So, of course, this not getting close to this. Today, he lifted a total of 248. And as, uh, as Amit was saying, in uh, snatch, 113 kgs, it was in clean and jerk. As he tried to go for 143, I think, is when he injured his elbow. And like Amit was saying, he did come out again. And I remember the commentators also, Sandeep, saying that, you know, is this okay? Should he even be attempting that? Because he'd already injured his elbow, but he went out there and they tried to do they, it. They, they saw it. They understood that there, something was seriously wrong out there. Yeah. But as Amit says, I mean, it's, it's, it's that drive, you know, that you yeah. need to go back. You need to pick up that goal. And I think he was, he was extremely close to it. I mean, if he was fit, he would have lifted it. There's yeah. no doubt about it. At least that was the determination that we saw. 
and all of this as we were discussing much earlier all of this is leading leading all the way to paris all the way to the world championships in december so let's hope this is a brilliant start from where we actually take care of the medals that we won in gold coast uh, i think we won nine out there so anything above that sh should be massively brilliant massively huge for indian weightlifting going into a year where the world championships qualifying is going to be the top most priority for vijay sharma who's the coach yeah well also sandeep uh, you know this is really the stepping stone commonwealth games winning medals here is the stepping stone for olympics and the world championships for these weightlifters yeah because you have you have six qualifying and you know that's how the rankings are done mm. so that's where all of them are now coming in you know the commonwealth in a way becomes the first stepping stone towards a series of them that leads to december then mm. onwards it leads to so many other competitions which are qualifying and these are the ones that vijay sharma the coach is targeting for the 15 member contingent that he has and most of them are youngsters mm. so you got to look at a point where how many of them can reach paris qualify and then probably he would probably feel that he's going to create an entire army of chanus you know mm. picking up more and more medals and i think that's what the aim is at the commonwealth at mm. least okay let's also listen into sanket sargar this is after him uh, after winning the silver listen into what he had to say main khush to hu par bahut sara naraz bhi hu ki mujhe gold medal lena tha aur gold medal ki maine taiyari bhi ki thi to abhi to thoda naraz hu main 139 mein clean ke baad jab jab push kar raha tha achanak elbow pe load aa gaya mera aur elbow pe load aate hi awaaz aa gaya idhar se to इधर से डॉक्टर ने बोला अभी गैप बढ़ गया अभी देखेंगे अभी जीत के लिए जा रहा है चार साल से गोल के लिए तैयारी किया था और एक स्टेप पे गोल था तो मैं करना चाहता था पर बॉडी ने बहुत अच्छा मैं करता हूँ कि ये मेडल मतलब मेला में खुशी हूँ कि देश का पहला सिल्वर मेडल है और खुश हूँ मैं करना अच्छा था एक्सपीरियंस बस एक ही थोड़ा ये रह गई कि गोल लेना था he is indeed disappointed and one can understand given it comes once in 4 years you work so hard for it he had everything going for him he could have gone for that gold but we discussed that the disappointment of an athlete when he gets injured when you work so hard but just before that the here is his sister uh talking about her brother's win and she herself is a weightlifter listen into what she had to say हरियाणा पंचकुला में हुए खेलो इंडिया यूथ गेम्स में गोल्ड मेडल रह चुकी हूँ मेरा भाई संकेत महादेव सरगर उसने कॉमनवेल्थ गेम्स में सिल्वर मेडल यस सो वेट लिफ्टर हरसेल्फ बट प्रीतम मैम ये स्टोरी जो एक है कि आपने सिल्वर जीता है और आप वाकिफ हैं इससे जो डिसअपॉइंटमेंट होता है एक एथलीट की लाइफ में कि आप चार साल के लिए प्रिपेयर करते हैं आप ये मान के चलते हैं कि भाई मेरा गोल्ड आएगा आप जितने भी अपने टूर्नामेंट्स में जाते हैं उसमें आप यही देखते हैं कि किस तरह से मैं गोल्ड ला सकता हूं और इनका जो पर्सनल बेस्ट है वो भी इससे बहुत बेहतर था एक खुद ही कह रहे थे कि जैसे इंजरी हुई उसके बाद नहीं कर पाए मतलब यही स्पोर्ट है ना कि एक बार शुरू होता है आप सब कुछ लगा देते हो और फिर एंड मौके पे अगर इंजरी हो जाए तो सब कुछ वहीं खत्म हो जाता है देखो ये सब खिलाड़ी की लाइफ में चलता रहता है कि उसको इंजरी होते है इंजरी तो एक खिलाड़ी का गहना होता है लेकिन हमें कभी कभी हमने लाइफ में प्लेयर इतनी मेहनत करता है की वो बिल्कुल सोच के जाता है की मैंने गोल्ड लेना ही है लेकिन कभी कभी अपनी वो परफॉर्मेंस नहीं दे पाता तो बस बहुत ज्यादा डिसअपॉइंटेड हो जाता है कि भाई मेरा गोल्ड आना था और सिल्वर आया तो ठीक है कहने को इंडिया के लिए मेडल है लेकिन उसको बहुत लगता है कि उसने इतनी मेहनत की और इतना हार्ड वर्क किया जिसके कारण उसका मेडल नहीं आया तो इसके लिए दोबारा से फिर दोबारा से भी बैक करते तो मैंने गोल्ड लेके ही आना है जैसे पिछली बार हमारी विमेंस हॉकी टीम ने सिल्वर किया था तो अब की बार मेरे स्टूडेंट बोल के गए हैं कि हम अब की बार गोल्ड लेके आएंगे तो उसी तरह की वो मेहनत करते हम्म आपसे हॉकी पे भी मैं बात करूंगी इंडिया का घाना के अगेंस्ट जो मैच हुआ था इंडिया जीत गई पर क्या कर सकते हैं और आगे क्योंकि अब टफ अपोनेंट्स आएंगे पर मिस्टर uh, गांधी जस्ट रिएक्शन फ्रॉम यू आल्सो ऑन दिस यू नो द फैक्ट दैट ही इज वन अ सिल्वर एंड ही इज जस्ट बीन कॉन्ग्रेचुलेटेड बाय द प्राइम मिनिस्टर ऑफ दिस कंट्री हु सेड ब्रिलियंट बट फॉर हिमसेल्फ दिस इज डिसअपॉइंटिंग 
Uh, yes, I think is uh, that that uh, mentions about his uh, hunger for doing better and better, mm. and he is surely disappointed. But I think all uh, he should get back, recover fast, when none other than Prime Minister is taking so much of interest and personally calling up and motivating. That is just incredible. Uh, that is the biggest motivation factor, and uh, this wasn't there when we were playing. Uh, maybe another 10% we could have given better uh, <laughs> with such things happening. And my advice to uh, him, Sargar, is uh, that, well, uh, he looks tough and uh, he's young and a lot of uh, good uh, achievements are on the way. Mm. And then he has shown so much of concern and I wish uh, many more medals from him in future. Yes, uh, Amit, 15 weightlifters, Mirabai Chanu in action tonight at 8.15. Are you going to be there? Because you are expect we everybody is expecting a medal from her. Absolutely, uh, Meha. If you look at uh, personal best, I think Mira is so far ahead that she could, uh, you know, sleepwalk her way into the venue, stumble upon, and still lift the, uh, you know, take the gold gold <laughs> so, medal home. So, so the difference between her and the next best opponent is of six more than sixty five kilograms. I've heard. No, I think it's around 40, okay. 40 odd kg, okay. not 60. Okay. Yeah. Okay. But yeah. Yeah, but uh, I mean, it's 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 so wide that uh, I wouldn't be surprised even if it was 60. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, but so, yeah, there's there's uh, yeah, there's Mira. There is a uh, day break between them, and then there is a third, fourth. <laughs> yeah. But what about the other medal contenders in weightlifting? Then we'll move on to the next spot. We have a lot of uh, athletes in weightlifting. There is uh, Rahul, uh, you know, he, uh, we've always had a rich legacy of athletes coming, uh, winning uh, and taking home medals. So uh, it wouldn't be a surprise. I think Sandeep ji mentioned uh, we've had, a, uh, I think last time around we had a handful of medals from weightlifting. Yeah. It was, I think, the, it was the third uh, best sport after shooting mm. uh, in terms of medals. So this time also a lot of uh, you know lifters are expected to win medals, uh, and I'm pretty sure the three of them will come at least today, including Mira. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Then let's move on to the next sport, and uh, should we toss between badminton no, and we hockey? We go with badminton. Okay, we go with badminton. <laughs> <laughs> right then, let's talk about badminton. India have. Uh, you know, had easy wins in their team events. They've beaten Pakistan. They've beaten Sri Lanka. Mr. Gandhi, uh, we had Ami Ghia on the show yesterday and she uh, was very optimistic about India's chances and in fact went on to say that India could make a clean sweep. Do you agree with her? Six uh, goals for India. Is that possible? Um, uh, yes. Mm, yes, it's, it's absolutely possible. And first of all, I think you were discussing about uh, tossing the between uh, badminton and hockey. Uh, hockey is one of my most favorite sports and during uh, camps in Patiala, we always used to be more maximum most of the time friendly with the hockey players mm. during that time. So it's one of the wonderful sports and India is doing extremely well. So coming back to uh, badminton, uh, we do have uh, six uh, gold medals in the fray and uh, this is the first time uh, we are very well balanced considering the mixed team event. Earlier, either you are strong in men's and then a little weak in uh, women's and maybe you may be good, uh, strong in men and women, but in mm. the paired events, you are a little weaker. Mm. Right. So this time, uh, all have got excellent international exposure. Their rankings have been good. And uh, in team event, we should be uh, aiming for uh, at least uh, gold, mm. uh, if not silver. So that is as far the team is concerned. And in men's singles, uh, we have uh, top two players, Laksha Sen and Kidab Bishrikan. Uh, they can have a tough time from the Singapore player as well as the Malaysia. Mm. I'm not very sure. Singapore is the player who has won the world championships and he has defeated Laksha Sen in the finals. Yes. And Malaysia is uh, Zia. Uh, he's pulled out, told... sir. So he's Sorry? pulled out. He's not part ah, of it. Yeah, so I was about to come to that. That yeah. There was a talk about that he's a doubtful starter. Mm. So ranking wise, uh, I won't be surprised if both of our Indian players, uh, they go for, uh, they divide or they go for gold and silver. Both have uh, capabilities and both have been uh, 
uh, doing exceedingly well on the international circuit. Mm. In men's doubles, yes, that's a uh, great combination we have in uh, Chirag Shetty and uh, uh, this uh, Sattvik Sairaj. Yeah. Uh, Sattvik, uh, Sairaj. Uh, they have uh, tough opponents in again in Malaysia. Both the pairs of yeah. Malaysia is quite good. But uh, you never know, uh, this uh, Thomas Cup win mm -hmm. has increased their morale and mm -hmm. very high degree of confidence where they went on making upsets and upsets and be main instrumental in uh, helping uh, India lift the Thomas Cup. So, men's doubles uh, medal should be coming and I won't be surprised uh, if they even perform the way what they have performed in Thomas Cup and win uh, mm -hmm. gold medal. Uh, for uh, women singles, yes. of course, uh, these are the, the Sindhu is the only player who is top 10 in the world who is in this competition. And uh, Sindhu's form of late has been excellent. So we can surely expect uh, the second player is Akarshi. She is new, but uh, she can get inspired by the performances of uh, Saina, Sindhu uh, in the Commonwealth records. And that should be good, inspiring for her to do well. So we hope uh, Sindhu's uh, medal. Mm. And uh, as far as the mixed doubles is concerned, uh, yes, it is a uh, little grey area. But uh, any good performances are definitely welcome. Mm. So out of the six, if we go by too much of optimism, <laughs> related with some related with some uh, fact finding, then yeah. we can think of four gold. <clears throat> which will be an all-time record of uh, Indian badminton performance in the Commonwealth Games. Mm. The best was in the Gold Coast where we got two gold. Right. So here on paper they are strong and I think uh, they mm. should do well. And the beginning is also good. The, they're all the uh, team is pepped up. And then I, I believe I think Gopichan is there. I'm not sure. Mm. He is there as a coach. So that also should be an added advantage for the Indians to do well, consistently well. Mm. How much of India winning the Thomas Cup will make a difference here, Sandeep? Oh, huge. Uh, very high degree of confidence. Yes. Because, uh, because Thomas Cup is uh, even, uh, uh, I mean, more than uh, uh, winning. It's like a World Cup. Mm. And uh, it's for men and this has never happened before. And the way they have uh, won the finals with 3-0 against uh, Indonesia, who has won Thomas Cup maximum number of times. Mm. And beating them 3-0. Uh, I think they should not be uh, nowhere near short of any of the confidence uh, lacking. And they all should have everything positive on their side. Now, of course, on the day, how they perform is always the key because reflexes play a major role in badminton. Mm. So they all know how, how much to prepare, when to prepare, how before to prepare and sure. how to prepare for every match. Mm. So, their mental makeup seems to be one of the best uh, in the recent times. Mm. So, they should be doing that. Sandeep, you want to come in on this? Yeah, I mean, I was just trying to compare it with, with Davis Cup, you know. It's yeah. almost similar. So, you look, at, look back when we used to enter the semis with Vijay, Ramesh, all of them. And look at the singles record of then of Ramesh and Vijay. They used to be really going into the quarters and the semis of ATP and even... I still remember 82, 83 and onwards, Vijay was in the quarters playing Jimmy Connors in, in mm. Wimbledon. And even Ramesh had some really stirring wins across the circuit. So, as Pradeep says, this is a big one, the Thomas Cup. And you just need to look back. It's not been like years back. It's just been now. Yeah. And from there onwards, you just lift your performance. You know you've already done that. You know the rest of the teams are massively careful about you now. Now, India is no more mm. a badminton nation. It's a... It's a powerful badminton nation. Mm. That's how a lot of my friends in Malaysia actually say now, mm. hey, you guys now play <laughs> good badminton. So, you know, that way. <laughs> yeah. And also, I think the team, uh, the camaraderie that they have, I think this will yeah. extend now to uh, the team there as well. Because you saw, I'm sure there must have been some WhatsApp groups already made, like they were saying, huh. even during the Thomas Cup win, how they had WhatsApp groups where they shared everything, they stayed together, you know, they were playing games together, so I guess all of that works. But Amit, uh, uh, PV Sindhu spoke um, to the media and talked about how her ultimate goal is Paris 2024 and uh, this being something that she does not have in her kitty, last Commonwealth Games, lost to Saina Nehwal, on her way to Paris, I mean, she'd want to win a gold here. 
Absolutely, and besides, uh, for her, it's a very open competition, uh, you know, for to take the gold, uh, no real uh, competition. So, but before that, she's uh, she said that she's very keen to also kind of inspire the uh, the, the badminton team in the team events. Mm. Uh, so she also wants to do that because I'm pretty sure she must have seen the adulation that has come the men's team's way Correct. after winning the Must Cup. So she's kind of looking at doing that first and then, uh, you know, moving on to individual uh, glory. Mm. So it becomes a well-rounded uh, performance for her uh, at Birmingham. Mm. Okay, let's talk about hockey then. Preetam ma'am, you have finally come, you have waited a little bit. But two of your academies are now in the academy. कैसे आप देखते हैं पहले तो परफॉर्मेंस को इंडिया की क्योंकि आपने ये भी देखा कि टोक्यो में फोर्थ प्लेस हाईएस्ट एवर बहुत बड़ी बात थी उसके बाद अभी जो वर्ल्ड कप हुआ उसमें नाइन्थ वो आए हैं पहला मैच आपने देखा होगा घाना के खिलाफ इंडिया का कैसी उस परफॉर्मेंस को कैसे रेट करते हैं आप देखो हमारी टीम ने ओलंपिक्स में बहुत ही अच्छा किया था और इसमें हमारी लड़कियां चार खेल रही हैं सोनीपत एकेडमी की नेहा शर्मिला निशा वार्सी और ज्योति चार लड़कियां मेरी एकेडमी की खेलती हैं लेकिन ऑल ओवर ओलंपिक्स में जैसे रिजल्ट रहा था उतना अच्छा वर्ल्ड कप में नहीं रहा हम थोड़ा परेशानी में हैं कि भाई जो ओलंपिक्स में फोर्थ है तो वर्ल्ड कप में ऐसा नहीं होना चाहिए था लेकिन कभी कभी ऐसा होता किसी किसी मैच में टीम का ऑफ डे हो जाता है जैसे की आप देखेंगे वर्ल्ड कप में हमें स्कोर नहीं मिला चौदह पेनल्टी कॉर्नर भी मिले उसमें भी स्कोर नहीं मिला तो थोड़ा सा सोचने पड़ जाता है अभी जैसे कल का मैच भी हमारी टीम ने खेला बहुत अच्छा नहीं खेला तो मैंने प्लेयर से बात भी की अपने प्लेयरों से भाई ऐसा क्या हो रहा है तो थोड़े से फर्स्ट मैच अभी भी हो सकता है हमारे साथ ऐसे सेटिंग नहीं हुई है टीम की तो नेक्स्ट मैच में हम अच्छा परफॉर्म करेंगे तो मैम एक बात बताइए रानी की इसमें कमी खल रही है आपको इस टीम में देखो ऐसा है रानी एक बहुत मेचोर बहुत प्रेजेंट और बहुत अच्छी खिलाड़ी है जो टीम को पूरा कंट्रोल करती है कमी तो देखो कभी भी किसी खिलाड़ी की पूरी नहीं हो सकती लेकिन मुझे ऐसा देखने में लगा उसकी कमी जो है जीनियर लड़कियां कर सकती हैं उसकी ऐसी ज्यादा दिक्कत नहीं है कि भी रानी नहीं होने से टीम हमारी खराब हो गई है लेकिन फिर भी लड़कियां उतना परफॉर्म नहीं कर रही जितना रानी की कैप्टनशिप में टीम करती थी तो कहीं ना कहीं ऐसा लगता है कि लड़कियां कहीं कुछ मिस्टेक कर रही है या जो भी कर रही हैं उनको जो है गेम में आना पड़ेगा और जैसे कि आप देख सकते हैं मैच में पेनल्टी कॉर्नर हमारे लिए बहुत ज्यादा मायने रखता है जिससे कन्वर्सेशन बहुत कम है हमारी कल के मैच में भी आठ पेनल्टी कॉर्नर हमें मिले हैं और वर्ल्ड कप में भी आप देखेंगे हमें चौदह पेनल्टी कॉर्नर न्यूजीलैंड के अगेंस्ट मिले थे जो की हम कहीं भी कन्वर्ट करते तो शायद हम क्वार्टर फाइनल पहुंच सकते थे तो हमें इस पे जो है काम करना पड़ेगा गर्ल्स को जो है काम करना पड़ेगा उनके कोच को प्लेयर्स को स्टाफ को सभी को काम करना पड़ेगा ये बहुत भारी मतलब हमारे लिए बहुत नुकसान हो सकता है अगर जब हम पेनल्टी कॉर्नर कन्वर्ट नहीं करेंगे व्हाट जी 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 बोलिए ऐसे टूर्नामेंट में क्या होता है जैसे जैसे हमारे मैचेस खेलते जाएंगे हमें टफ मैच मिलते जाएंगे तो हमें फील्ड बॉल कम मिलने का मिलेगा अभी तो हमारे पुल के मैच चले हुए हैं आप तो देख सकते हैं कि पुल के मैच में जो है कमजोर टीमें होती हैं और स्कोर करने में इतना वो नहीं होता लेकिन आगे टफ मैच में पेनल्टी कॉर्नर पे ही कन्वर्ट कर सकते हैं जैसे कनाडा की टीम है आपने देखा वर्ल्ड कप में भी हम कनाडा के साथ वन वन ड्रो रहा था मैच और पहले कनाडा ने गोल किया था तो शूट आउट में ही हम जीते थे बिल्कुल पेनल्टी कॉर्नर पे काम करना पड़ेगा हम उस पर ध्यान देना पड़ेगा वॉट सीम्स टू बी गोइंग रॉन्ग दे प्ले अटैकिंग ब्रांड ऑफ हॉकी दैट समथिंग दिस इज हाउ वी वॉन्ट प्ले संदीप बट समेर यू सी with them getting penalty corners, they're earning those corners, they're just not being able to convert them. Uh, where is the weak, the gray area? I think uh, what Pritam is saying and also not saying is that we got 47 in the World Cup and we converted five. We got 10 in the last game, we converted one. So there has to be a reason. You mm. just can't be thinking ki agle match mein ho jayega ya nahi hoga. That's not the point here. The point here is to figure out what is going wrong. Is it, is the pushback happening right? You know, the ball is being relayed perfectly well. Somebody is going to stop that and then somebody is going to take the flick. I do believe that and looking from television's point of view, when you see in the stadium, it's different. When you see on TV, it's different. 
I think the flicks are not going right. I think there is a technical issue happening in terms of the flicking that's happening in penalty corners. And once you don't score after four or five or six, PCs, you, when you earn a penalty corner, it actually becomes a burden. Oh, now it's come again. Oh. Now I'm going to fail again. How the hell do I do this? You know, these are all part of management. Now how they are going to treat the players, you know, and tell them what's going wrong. Mm -hmm. But I think one question that one can ask Preetam is, is the midfield playing well or not? Because for a modern hockey or any team game, football, hockey, wherever you say, if the midfield is not functioning, the rest mm. of them really can't. Mm. You know. So, पूछ लेते हैं यहीं पर ही है. प्रीतम मैम. प्रीतम मैम, अगर मैं आपसे ये पूछूं कि आपके हिसाब से आपने वर्ल्ड चैम्पियनशिप के सारे मैच देख लिए, आपने कल वाला मैच जरूर देखा होगा, क्या मिडफील्ड ठीक चल रहा है हमारा? आपको लगता है कि नेहा मिडफील्ड कंट्रोल कर रही है ठीक से या आपको लग रहा है कि उसका लेवल अभी थोड़ा बहुत नीचे आ रहा है? देखो जो नेहा है वो एक्चुअली मिडफील्ड क्या मेन 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 ऐसा कह सकती हो सकता है उनके कोच की टीम की अलग प्लाने की प्लानिंग हो जिसका नहीं पता लेकिन नेहा का हमें ज्यादा बेनिफिट ऊपर हो सकता स्ट्राइकर में स्ट्राइकर में जो मिडफील्ड है हमें कंट्रोल नहीं हो रही जैसे आप देखेंगे अटैक में जा रहे मैच फंस रहा तो गेम जो है वो शिफ्टिंग नहीं हो पा रही एज ए डिफेंडर कंट्रोल नहीं हो पा रही जो कि हमारे लिए बहुत मायने रखता अच्छे मैचों में जो है आज की हॉकी में जो स्पीडी हॉकी है उसमें मिडफील्ड को अच्छा खेलना बहुत जरूरी था नेहा के ऊपर ज्यादा वेट आ रहा क्योंकि नेहा ऊपर अटैक से भी पूरा जा रही है डिफेंस में भी जा रही है तो जो मेड फील्ड है वो कहीं ना कहीं आप जैसे आप बता रहे हैं कि कमी खलती है हमें वो कंट्रोल नहीं हो पा रहा that's a point i mean like if if you if you if you going with what pritam is saying that neha is your core yeah. so she has a pension she has this thing in her that okay i'm going to take the ball up she's almost like a manpreet who once if he gets a ball he sees a space he probably thinks okay, i'm going to do it mm. neha does it but if there is a counter mm. she has to fall back again now i think when she falls back and the counter is usually fast it's always double the speed of the player you know those gaps open up and I think those gaps is what she's pointing out and saying mm -hmm. those are areas that that could be an issue she's absolutely right you got to be playing you know number one on top of your game mm -hmm. one shouldn't really get worried about the Ghanas because when you play a weaker team what they do is they put eight at the back and yeah, this they try true. and ensure less goals yeah. I mean, they didn't have any circle penetrations yeah. so in comparison you, to India. So, in that way, I really wouldn't think too much. But mm. yeah, when you're going in against England, when you're going to go play against mm. New Zealand, those are the teams that you really need to have your top game against. Because mm. one counter, three penalty corners missed, and suddenly you look at the scoreboard and you're one-two down. And then you have only one minute left on the board. And those are very tough times. Mm. You mentioned Manpreet. So, let's talk about men's hockey. They'll be playing Ghana as well. Amit... Something interesting that I heard in, a, in the press conference, Manpreet's press conference, where, and you can come in on this, because I was wondering what this means. He has said this in the press conference. He said, our philosophy this time around at the Commonwealth Games is to zoom out and zoom in. Our coaches have told us to zoom out and visualize what we have to achieve. We want to win a medal, but how can we achieve the same? The first thing that we have the first thing that we have to do is to not underestimate any team. My sense, I mean, first you tell me, what do you think he said that, what, what, do, you, what do you think he means when he says this? Nothing. Okay, I think we've got an audio problem. So Sandeep can come in on this, zoom out and zoom in. No, I think he's basically saying that you got to stretch your flanks. Yeah. That's what I can make of it. If he's correct in <laughs> what I am, unless, yeah. unless there's some, some, something else that he's trying to tell the team or tell the coaches yeah. or the management. But it's usually something that when you zoom out, it's like you stretch yourself. Mm. Don't play through the middle constantly mm. because then you're allowing them on the flanks. Okay. Zoom in is when you zoom out, what, what happens when you zoom out, when you go to the flanks, you try and bring the ball in, mm. which is into the striking circle. And that is zoom in. So it's, it's a simple logic to that particular line unless there is a very complex no, there is he's like we have to visualize what we want to achieve so i think that zooming out see the larger picture and then zoom in which is but the I match think what, on what, hand. what needs to but be told is the yeah. larger picture for graham reed for manpreet for harman preet for the seniors in this team is that they need that gold medal they yeah. have never won a commonwealth gold yeah. they have been in the finals 
Australia has always won. Australia is your top team. Australia yeah. is the best at this moment of time. Yeah. And I think all the energy, mm. now with the Asian Games not happening, all the energy is going into the CWG. Mm. And for Graham, a terrific finisher mm. should play up for the World Cup in Jan. I think mm. that is the equation, that is what is in the plans mm. for the men's team. Manpreet will be playing his 300th match of his career and quite a career he's had. Seen the lows of uh, London where India didn't win a single game and then the high of Tokyo. That, that's Indian hockey in a yeah. way. But I would always bring in Hardik here who said that, you know, enough of playing, enough of 100th, enough of 200th matches. Mm. All I want are medals. Mm. This is his philosophy. He says, I play not to play my 100th or 300th as you say or whatever. He says, I don't want to retire saying that I'm the one who's played the maximum number of games. Mm. I want to retire where people say I have the maximum number of medals from all competitions. Mm. I think that's the youngster. Haan, Pritam, I'm a little bit angry. Why are you angry, ma'am? Tell me, tell me. That's why I'm saying that I'm going to take a break. I'm going to take a break. और यही एक्सपेक्ट भी कर रहे हैं सभी से क्योंकि कॉमनवेल्थ गेम्स एक ऐसा है जस्ट जहां पे इंडिया मेडल्स जीतती है मैनचेस्टर में हॉकी में मेडल जीता था 2002 में सो यू नो इट्स समवेयर वेयर इंडिया डज वेल लास्ट कॉमनवेल्थ गेम्स इन 2018 गोल्ड कोस्ट इंडिया एंड अप विनिंग 66 मेडल्स व्हाट विल इट बी दिस टाइम वेल द the medals tally that's opened up. So India have already won two medals. Hopefully there'll be many more. Thank you so much. Let me just thank, uh, thank our guest then. Pritam ma'am, thank you so much. And hopefully aapki jo maha pe ladkiya khel rahi hai, wo hi, wo bhi achcha kare. Unke saath saath team bhi bahut achcha kare. Wo bhi zaruri hai. Pradeep Gandhi, I hope what you said comes true. India gets thank all you. six in uh, badminton and create history. Amit Kamath is not with us. That's a frozen picture of him. I think he's left us uh, okay. for the next event. And Sandeep Mishra, as always, um, excellent with his hockey analysis. That's it then on this special. Goodbye. Thanks for watching. News 9 Sports, before I go, is what you need to subscribe to for all the latest from Commonwealth Games. We'll get you analysis, updates, player uh, interviews, medal winners, everything right here on News 9 Sports. That's it from us. Goodbye. Have a good Saturday.